What's going on guys, SimSim Sim here, and I just wanted to make this quick video about the Sim dashboard. Some of you have been asking me during my streams, how am I getting the information on my tablets, what the application is called, and how do I get it set it up. It's very simple. All you got to do is go into Google, type in Sim dashboard, exactly how you see it on the screen, and once you, see, once you find it, click on the link, and it'll bring you to this website. Now this is exactly, uh, this is the main website that you can get the application from for your PC. Unfortunately, this application does not work on iOS. It only works on Android devices, including smartphones and tablets. So, and obviously your PC. So other than that, it does not work on iOS. Once you download it, I'll show you on my other computer, uh, on the racing sim uh, rig, how it works. But this is where you download it from. There are a lot of different templates that you can download and choose from if you purchase the pro version. But uh, if you don't, you can use the built-in templates and there are some free templates that you can also download for free and use in the app. I decided to purchase the full app because I know I'm gonna be using it and I didn't wanna worry about you know purchasing in the future. I just wanted to buy, support them and move on. And that's what I did. So. Um, I like the app. It's very simple, very easy to use. You can do so many things. You can create your own, some, uh, create your own uh, racing dashboards. There are a lot of widgets. Supports PC, uh, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox X, uh, Series S, Xbox One. What else? You can share your designs with the community, which is what I'm, what I'm going to do. It auto switches to the different game changes the units it has button box virtual button boxes on your smartphone as well that you can use for the pc so there's a, there's a lot of really really good stuff that you can that you can benefit from so obviously the pro right here is the last four which is add more than one page per game there you go so if you've seen me on my streams you'll notice that sometimes i'll switch between different templates throughout the stream and you can't do that. You can only have one template if you have the free edition. So you would have to delete whatever template you have and then download a different one that is free to use. Uh, you can only have more, more than add more than three widgets per page, which means that you really can't do much. So if you have the free one, you can only have uh, maybe your speedometer, your RPM meter, and uh, the gear that you're in. That's it. And when you buy it, when you buy it, you pay for it once and you're done. You, and then you can have everything else um, that's included as well. These are the list of games that are on there. It pretty much has all the trucking simulators, racing simulator, driving simulator, farming simulator that you can think of. And it tells you which system is it uh, uh, supported by. So PC, PS4, PS5, Series X, S, and Xbox One. So... These are all the games that are on there, and if they're all if they're not supported, for example, like GT Sport, a Crew 2, and Forza Motorsport 6, is because they don't have a telemetry interface. So they must have a telemetry interface, otherwise, it's not gonna work. But this is the website, okay? And at the very top is where you can download it for your PC. Now, we're gonna go to my other PC, where which is my racing sim, and. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So obviously when I wanted to use my Android tablet, it's not working. So we're going to get that fixed right now. But other than that, I, you know, it's, it's a really, it's a really, really good um, thing to have, especially with the same dashboard. In the meantime, let me show you here what I'm talking about. All right, it worked. Good. I'm going to turn this thing back on. There we go. So anyway, when you when you download the app on your PC, this is what it's going to look like, okay? This is what it's going to have. It's going to have every single game that you have installed and configured in the green, okay? That's really what you care about. If it's not configured, it's going to have the little blue screen uh, or blue circle next to it, and it will tell you exactly what you need to do. So you don't have to guess on how to get it up and running, okay? Now, what I was talking about, about the different templates, if you look at my tablet, I have a bunch of different templates here 
on uh, this is this is for the Euro Truck Simulator 2, which is uh, the game that I stream the most, along with American Truck Simulator. So these are the different templates that I have on my tablet. All right, and these are all from the community that people that have done and they have downloaded or uploaded to the community and I was able to download it. I actually created one today before the game. I just wanted to try it out in the studio and it's pretty fun and I like it. This is my template that I downloaded, This is, or, or that I created, right? So I'm using the, the maps as the background and I put everything else around it. Um, you know, I think it looks pretty good, you know, it, it, it's fine. I haven't tested it out yet because I wanted to make this video. So we'll see what it looks like. But it's very easy, very simple. Let me show you quick, real quick in the settings menu what to do. All right. So obviously, the very the the very top here uh, are the games that I that I that I play the most. I have iRacing, Euro Truck Simulator two, um, and let's see. And you also have America Truck Simulator. But anyway, I want to go down to the settings. So we're gonna go down to the settings. Right, it says select your gaming platform. I have a PC, and that's what I'm gonna pick. I don't have anything else that I play racing or trucking games on. I have a PC, so I'm gonna leave it a PC. Show only supported games. That's all I want. All right. Uh, when you wanna when you wanna connect it to your PC, you wanna click on set, uh, set up your PC. Okay, it's gonna take you to the PC setup wizard. I use Wi-Fi. Because it's easier, I don't have to run a lot of cables. Uh, I mean, I can use the USB tethering, but I don't want to. I want to use the the Wi-Fi. So I'll go on the Wi-Fi, all right, and then I'll set it up. You follow the prompt, and you're good to go. I'm not going to continue with it because it shows IP addresses, but this is what I use. So when you go into the setup, Wi-Fi setup is the easiest way to go. Hit next, follow the prompt, and you'll be all done. It's already connected to my to my PC, uh, so I don't really need to do it again. Now there are some uh, cool settings that you can that you can use. Uh, keep screen on right here. Keep screen on. That's very important because even if you set up your tablet to not turn off or screen timeout or screen turn off, this will keep it from turning off it will keep it turned on the entire time so that way it's not going to turn off while you're streaming or while you're racing if you're doing i racing or a set of corsa or project cars or whatever you want to make sure that you can keep that screen on so that way while you're racing and you want to look at your lap time or how fast were you going in the previous lap or if you want to use a button box to you know lessen the dampening of the brakes or whatever you can do that and it, it, it won't turn off the screen okay Screen orientation, I just let it use automatically. Uh, I, I use landscape. I don't use portrait. I think it's better. Start with a full screen. That's what I do. Start with a full screen. I think I turned it off before I started this, but start with a full screen. It's my own preference. You can use it however you want. Tap to switch design. So instead of swiping to switch between templates, you can just tap on a template on the right or left side, and it will flip-flop between whatever template you want. Long tap to show the design overview dialog. I don't really use it, nor do I care for it. Uh, the HUD mode, I don't really use it because I don't want to. I don't want to use a heads-up display. I don't really. I don't really need it. Okay. Button box vibration. It used to be turned on at the very beginning. I had turned it off because it was annoying. It was like the 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 every time. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not doing that. Uh, let's see. When you go into the game, automatically switch game screen. I love it. I don't have to do anything. If I, if I, if I was playing your truck simulator and I leave the computer or I come back, and I fire up American Truck Simulator, I don't have to do anything. It will work on its own. It will switch to the template that you want on American Truck Simulator, and it'll be up and running in no time. Uh, let's see here. Important things that you guys should worry about. Uh, expert Studio is pretty cool. This is where you can design your own templates. Again, if you bought the, if you purchased the pro version, I think you can do that. Now, if it will just, so when you download the app on your computer, you can go to the dashboard studio, click on get started, and it will tell you exactly how to do it. Again, I'm not going to click on it because there's information on there. Uh, but click, when you click on get started, it will give you a rundown of exactly what you should do in order to do that. Okay. And uh, miscellaneous, I don't really need that. When you go to games, again, this is what you. This is the most important 
And of course, the, you know, this app just pisses me off, the AirDroid. But it worked for quite some time. I'm going to turn it off for now. But anyway, um, this is the most important tab in the application, is the Games tab. You want to make sure that every game that you have has the two green circles next to it. That's what you should worry about, okay? And once you have that, then you're all good to go. And it will tell you how to get it working if you don't know how, so that way you're not playing the guessing game. It will walk you through it. It will tell you this is what you need to do, and it will help you connect your game to the application. I hope this video was helpful in any way, shape, or form. Um, if it is, feel free to give it a thumbs up. A lot of you guys have been asking about this app, and I figured I'd make a quick video just to show you what it looks like. I personally like this app. I think it's a lot of fun. It does everything that I want it to do without a problem. And it hasn't given me a problem, so definitely I support them, and I, and I appreciate all the work in making this a more fun experience for me. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, and I uh, hope to catch you on my next stream. Take care, everybody. Simpsons out. Peace.